much does it help that you're friends with Florida State's ace? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if help would be the word. I'm really excited to see her. I could not be more excited to see her and to compete against her, but um, I'd prefer to not think about what's coming, like personally when I'm up to bat. So um, knowing her could be good, it could be bad, but I'm really excited for her to get here. Does it help in terms of the scouting report or do you have to approach it like any other? Um, I think it's better to approach it like, uh, like any other opponent. Um, obviously, if people have questions, I can give a little bit of intel, but I also haven't caught her in three years, so, you know, there's a lot of development that goes on, so um, I think we should just take her like any other opponent and face her just like a lefty coming in here. They're ranked number two, but they just be number one. Is this pretty exciting to have, you know, potential national championship? Yeah, definitely. In your house? Definitely. We're going to look at it as a super regional type environment go to work, compete as hard as we can. You know, they just came off a huge win, a long game. Um, you know, they're coming in here with a little bit of momentum, but I think we're up for the test. How do you think they compare to like the UCLA's, Arizona's, the Washington's that you guys have played? Um, I I think that it's, it's a little bit of a different competition for us because with those um, like UCLA's, Washington's, there's history behind it. There's, there's stuff riding on those games. Um, whereas FSU, it's just, they're going to come in here, we're going to compete hard for three straight games, hopefully come out on top, and then that's it. And they'll go home and we'll move on. No matter how this series turns out, how important is it to you guys to even have this series right as postseason's coming, coming around? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. This is definitely, like I said, it's a super regional environment, and it's a three game, including a double header, and double headers are hard, especially against one of the best teams in the country. So I think it'll be great for us going into the postseason. Win or lose, we're gonna we're gonna come out of it le having learned something. You guys are fighting for a top eight spot to, to be able to host a super regional. Do you get a sense of how many games you need to win this weekend to, to make that so you don't have to sweat it out on selection day? Um, I, I don't think we're thinking so much about how many games we have to win. I think we just. We go in there with the mentality of winning every game. Every game is opening day, um, fresh slate. We're not thinking about our past. We're not thinking about what's to come. It's just one game at a time. We go in there with expectations to win. So it's not really like, a, oh, we need to win two of the three to get whatever. You know what I mean? So um, I think it's more of working to win one game at a time, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time. You've hit a quite, quite a few big home runs the past couple of games. Shannon Rhodes has really been hitting the ball as well. And, and Camuso had the big home run uh, during the last weekend. What do you think's been behind the power surge? Um, I think it's just a lot of people are coming in extra. We're putting in the work to get better. Um, we, we, we hit a dry spell for a couple of weeks, and, and I think it lit a fire under a couple of us to really get working, really get um, refining our swings and to get better for the postseason run. And we'd rather be getting hot now than in the past. We've gotten hot at the very beginning. We've blown a bunch of teams out, and then we've sort of died off at the end. So I'm really excited that we started off more dry, and now we're getting a little bit hotter. So I'm really excited for our bats. What is your history there with how you guys played together all throughout select ball you and the pitcher from Florida State? Oh, Megan and I, yeah, we. she was my high school pitcher. We won two state championships together. Um, we played travel ball together since we met in seventh grade, played with each other a couple times, and then from freshman year on, we played together. Have you guys talked at all recently in the buildup? Oh, the yeah. I, I, she called me today talking about how she got two at-bats off Barnhill and how she struck out against one of the best pitchers in the country and she's just like every other hitter in the country or something like that. But um, we're super excited. Uh, I'm really excited to hug her, see the team, get to spend some time with her, show her why I chose Oregon. And yeah, I'm just really excited for her to get here. Was Florida State a possibility for you? Were you recruited by Florida State? Yes, I was heavily recruited by Florida State. Um, it actually came down to Florida State or Oregon in the end and I chose Oregon. Is there any smack talk going on or any stakes on this series in terms of you and her? Well, in the first couple years of me being here, um, when we went home on break, she would pitch to me and stuff. And she hasn't let me do that in a while because now I'm the rival and I'm the competition. She doesn't want to show me what she has. Like, I, like I don't already know what she throws. But, um, yeah, she, she's a big smack talker, so.
given your relationship with her and also the fact that it's non-conference, is this a series that you guys come in and, and relax it all in? Oh, absolutely not. This is the time we need to hit the gas. These these three games are, I'm, no game is more important than any other game in the year, but these three games are going to really show us what we have and what we're capable of doing in the postseason. So, um, no, we're not, we're not going to take a breath here. This is where we need to step on the gas and keep moving forward.